how the market moves up and down. How strong or weak the market moves up and down will help us make assumptions about the market. The buyers and the sellers are the two participants, which drive the markets. Let's come back to our example. We can see, we have clear market and trend waves up and down, up and down. We have a primary trend here. We have our new primary trend to the downside here. Here at the top, we can see that the market is having a transition. We are making higher highs and higher lows here. Suddenly we were making lower highs and lower lows here. So that's okay. However, we can underpin anticipate it before it happens. Why? How looking at the speed and the strength of price waves? So here we have a strong price wave. We have a strong price wave from here to here. The market was able to make a higher high. Very easily. Here we didn't have a lot of selling. Here we have a little bit more of selling. However, the next trend waves again, very strong. So in this area, we are clearly in a very strong uptrend. If we are in a long trade, then there's no real reason why we should worry about our trade. It is looking good to market as easily. Making higher highs and higher lows. The bullish trend waves. The impulsive trend waves are making higher highs very easily. Very easily here. Less easily here. You can see that suddenly compare this bullish phase. We have one, two, three. Three and a half bullish candles compared to here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and here as well. Very strong, very long. Here the candles are becoming shorter. This is just a little heads up because right now obviously the market is still making a higher height. We can clearly see that, but it's already a little. The real problem. Yeah, problem. We can call it problem for the long traders is happening here. Suddenly the market is not able to make a higher high as easily. You can see the market. The price is just barely able to push into new high. So this already tells us that the market is actually becoming weaker. What we have anticipated, and what we noticed here is intensifying. Here we can see that. Very short move to the upside. Very weak high. And this should really set our alarm bells ringing. It's not enough yet to say okay. This is the point where the market is going to turn. We can never say that before it happens. This is not the point of the transition trader. We need to wait for real extra clues and you will see that once we get into the patterns and setups, you will see that there are very precise entry points and very, very precise ways how to enter a trade. But this is a heads-up debt. The bullishness of the market here is fading, and the set of buyers are not as strong anymore. Here we don't have something completely new, completely different. The market makes it lower high, and suddenly we have strong bearish candle. So you can see that strong red candles. Once we getting into our setups and chart and modules, this will be our entry point when we have something like this. Why? Because now we are making a lower high, and we are making a lower low. This is just one of 10 patterns that you will learn later on, but I just want to show it to you. Where is the actual entry point? Because the entry point is never going to be a top, and it's never going to be a bottom. We don't want to pick tops and bottoms. You've probably heard that the expression catching a falling knife. And this refers to traders who always want to be in a trade the first. And it's very important to understand in trading, you will never get a price for being the first in a trade. You need to wait for clear confirmation, clear signals, Clear setups, that the transition and that the new market direction is already on its way. Whether we look at the transition into a completely new market phase, or whether we look for a transition after a breakout and a trade continuation, a trend continuation, they are always going to be very precise signals that help us anticipate instead of predicting. That's very, very important. So here you can see that in the market, suddenly showing strong bearish. Trend waves, strong bearish very short bullish trend waves, and the market is rolling over here into a downward, and this is pretty much momentum in a nutshell. Obviously later on, we will get much deeper into this. But how strong is the market pushing into a direction? How easily is the market able to make a new waves and new highs? That's very, very important. Here as well, we can start on the left. The market has showing us very strong bearish trend waves. The price is able to make new loss very easily. Less easily here. And almost here, the price is not able to make a new law at all. So again, slowly slowly. Slowly, this is going to catch our attention because obviously we are looking for those turning points. And then here we have our confirmation. The market is rolling over. We have strong bullish market phases. A strong move to the upside. A strong move to the upside. A strong move to the upside. And then here the market is not able to break higher. So this is as we will know. And as you maybe already know, this is just called a double top. And those are also important market clues because what does this tell us? It tells us that the market wasn't able to break a new high and not able to make a new high. So very, very important. And then, now, what is this? This is the first time that we are seeing a strong bearish wave that is even breaking the previous low. 
and then a very weak move to the upside. Not many buyers anymore. And here is where the trend completely collapses. Our actual entry signal would have been in this area here. Not yet at the top, again. We don't want to catch a top. There's always, always enough room still. We don't need to be the first. We want to be safe. That is what we want. We want to trade with confidence. We want to know that. We are entering a new trend and we might be early, but we are not forecasting. We're not trying to predicting anything. We don't need a crystal ball. We can read those things effectively from our charts. And then we can anticipate and go with the market force that is currently taking control over the market and we are positioning ourselves with them and then such a nice move to the downside happens after the market has completely tilted. Here again, very, strong. And then here less strong. Very strong. Very strong. Very strong. Very strong. And then here. This is an exhaustion gap. We will learn later. What is an exhaustion gap? What is happening here? Why dude? Why did the market stall for such a long period? Whereas previously the market was able to move higher. 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 Very, very easily. Here almost. We don't see any bearish phase. We have a little bit here where the market was moving sideways. But eventually the market grinded higher. It jumped out. And what is here? Suddenly the momentum died down. As we would say. The momentum faded to market lost its strength and the bias lost the interest, so that here the forces were very stable. It was just going sideways. Then here we have our last push strong gap to the upside. Those gaps happen usually during the weekend but in other markets that can also happen during the day. It happens on from one day to the next. When the market is closed overnight. And what does it show us? The market jumped from here to here. But just after the scab, after this explosive jump, which looks very, very strong, keep in mind, many traders will believe, wow, the gap that's a strong signal. But no, we already know that, here. The market was not showing a lot of stress. And what happens here? Look at this. Can you see this? The very strong bearish market phase. We haven't seen it. Let's look at all this uptrend. Here was the last time that we have seen such a strong bearish phase here as well. You can see the two strong bearish phases right after each other. And only one small bullish failed attempt. You cannot even call it a rally or really a price where there's it just three candidates to the upside. And we have never seen this during this uptrend. So clearly this is not really what is representing what is going on in the markets. The market is not demonstrating strength with this. With this gap, it's a last final attempt there to continue to the uptrend. But it immediately feels, and then the result is that the sellers completely take control over the market. And then you can see the collapse here. So we can anticipate this already after three videos. We know a little bit more about how to read momentum. And this is should give you a lot of confidence and make you look forward. A modest trend unsustainable momentum spike. Very similar to the gap. What is happening here? Here on the left hand side. We can see our general price, trend structure. Lower lows, lower highs, small transitions, small correction phases, a nice back and forth. So this is what usually looks a trend line. And then during a normal modest trend at a sustainable. We can find those transitions very easily. Lower lows and lower highs. Here we slowly started making higher lows, higher high. So here is the transition phase in this area. We can even wait until the market breaks this high. If you want to be very, very safe. Also another very important thing that we will learn later. There's not only one correct entry for each pattern, but I will show you how to find early entries. If you are aggressive, you want to look for early entries. If you're more conservative, then you can look for later entries where you have more confirmation. And that is also one very interesting thing that we will explain or explore later here. We have done our unsustainable momentum spike. What is the market doing here before the spike even? What do we see? This is not a normal correction. You can see the market was on its way. And then suddenly, what is that? A very strong move to the downside. So the market already demonstrate that there are a lot of sellers in the market. So this is just an unsustainable momentum spike. This can be the last final attempt of the buyers. It can also be a sign that people are taking profits. So the market makes one jump. It could also be that this here is a new spike. So maybe there was some news released. The market jumped higher and then it became clear. The news are not strong enough to sustain the uptrend because there were already a lot of sellers in the market here. And then the market rolls over. We make low lows or highs, low lows, lower highs, and start a new trend. So we will learn, especially when we talk about supply and demand, how we can really find those unsustainable momentum spikes and how we can learn to trade unsustainable momentum spikes and how we can interpret them. Because it really helps us understand how we can put this all into correlation. This strong corrective wave.
this unsustainable spike, and then the market rolls over. We can then anticipate what is happening here and trade into new direction. Here I want to take a little bit or peek a little bit ahead. So we are starting here at the top. Left the market is in a down move. Very strong move to the downside. Very quick move to the downside. And then what is happening here? The market tries to move higher. We make higher highs. Higher lows. Yes, higher lows. We can observe here. But compare this to this, what does it tell you here? Very strong move to the downside. Very strong trend. Here very weak. The buyers are not very strong. The buyers, although they take a long, long time. Much longer than here. They are not able to get this uptrend going. They're not able to get this uptrend started. This tells us that here are a lot of sellers. Here are not as many buyers or the balance here is more equal. They ask the people interested in selling sort of buyers cannot really get this price to the upside. And then we will learn how to anticipate a breakout. And then a transition happens here to transition. Now it's not a reversal. The transition is a continuation into this downtrend and you can see. We are able to read this transition here. Then we can capture all of this here as well. The market wasn't a downtrend. And then we have end of trend pattern. We have here what we call a wedge. The market made lower lows and lower lows, lower highs here. Here we are slowly starting to change. Here we are making a higher highs suddenly. And then we have a breakout and then we can catch this. And then we have an uptrend exhaustion. We're going from higher highs and higher lows to suddenly making lower lows and lower highs. And then the market rolls over to the downsides. And what happens here? The market moves higher spike, unsustainable, spike and downtrend. So you can see. We are only three videos and we have covered maybe 40 minutes, not even. And you are now already able to see much deeper, hopefully. And so just stick with me. Wait for a few more introductory videos and you will be able to completely transform your trading. Final example. Then I think momentum should be clear, very strong of two downside. And now you can see the bullish phases. Very smart. Well, here we don't have any bullish phase whatsoever. We have a greed candle here. Small green candle here. Two small green candles here. Now, suddenly we have a one longer still not enough. Here we suddenly have our first sequence of bullish candles. This is already a little heads up and then here we start making higher lows. Here we've only made lower lows. Now we have strong abolish candles. You can see that normal bearish candles, just the smaller red candle and then this uptrend starts. So again, you can see how powerful is this. We have just getting started and we can already anticipate and read the market in a much, much deeper way. So stick with me and enjoy this course. With me.